If we all had night vision, cities would be dark. We wouldn't spend energy creating artificial light in order to see. If we could control our own temperature, we wouldn't use air conditionings, we wouldn't use heaters. So this would be better for the planet and, and for ourselves in order to, to survive. Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. I'm joined by Pioneer Stellark and artist Neil Harbison. The conversation with them today is really about what it means for humans to evolve as we become more augmented. Stellark, I wonder if you could just start by maybe defining cybernetics. So uh, being a performance artist, I've always been interested in the kind of evolutionary architectures of the body. So for me, incorporating prosthetics and robotics was a means by which you could experiment with alternative anatomical architectures. This is not meant to be enhancements as such, but rather how does this feel to function in this technological terrain that we now inhabit. Neil, could you just introduce yourself and share a little bit about your work and also what it means to define yourself as a cyborg? Yeah, I define myself as a cyborg or cyborg artist and I define cyborg as including technology as part of your identity because I am merged with it, uh, not only psychologically but also physically. And I define my art as cyborg art, which would be like the, the creation of new organs, new senses, and designing your perception of reality. I designed this antenna that is implanted in my head, and it allows me to extend my perception of color beyond the visual spectrum from infrareds to ultraviolets. There's also internet connections so people can send colors to my head remotely. One of the common themes that keeps arising is this question of the obsolescence of the human body. I wonder how should our evolution as a species continue in relationship to technology? A future is not a future if it is not of the unexpected. And what is interesting are these unexpected possibilities, new inventions. I mean, who would have imagined the micro and nano scaling of technology and also the biocompatibility in substance that now occurs. So there is this unexpected possibility that we might be able to recolonize the human body. To shift into a little bit of a direction, who do you think should be making these decisions about this kind of evolution? The beautiful thing would be that we can, each one of us can decide which body parts and senses we want to have as a species and that we can design them ourselves. So having DNA 3D printers at home so that we can 3D print our own organs. We'll probably also see uh, companies selling senses and organs in the future. And I think what really would need to change is the way we've been interacting with our planet. Because we've been a, a species that for thousands of years have been designing the planet and changing the planet. And I think it's time that we start changing ourselves in order to adapt ourselves to the planet. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.